It could be a big breakthrough in detecting airborne chemicals, germs, and biological threats. Researchers at Sandia Labs say they've come up with a new device that can not only smell out all of those things, but can also fit in a pocket, which could be a big help for doctors and soldiers. News 13's Chris McKee has more. It doesn't look like much. This is the heart of the detector. But this little white and silver cylinder and this gold device represent a big step in detecting chemicals and germs. So there's a lot of, if you will, dual uses. A researcher for Sandia National Labs, Ron Maginel, calls the device a mini pulse discharge ionization detector, or PDID. He says it's a big advancement for two reasons. First is just how small it is. What we've done is made a miniature version of a, of a commercial detector. This size machine is typically what's used to detect germs and biological threats, but his work has made it small enough to fit in a pocket-sized technology. Cell phones or, or uh, smartphones, that kind of thing. But Manjanel says the biggest breakthrough comes with what this little device can sniff out. What this does is it allows us to use chemicals, vapor chemicals, to detect both instead of having to have a separate liquid system. Putting both chemical detection and biological detection in the same thing. The miniature device can smell out everything from explosives and pesticides to germs and bacteria. There's military uses and then there's civilian uses. The detectors could help with border security where agents need to detect things like bombs, drugs and people. But hospitals could also benefit detecting things like lung and stomach cancer from someone's breath. So kind of an, an initial screening, if you will, too. So a little bit less invasive than taking a blood sample. A big breakthrough from something very small. It's exciting. Chris McKee, KRQE News 13. Sandy Lev says it is now applying for grants to get more of those detectors built and hopefully get them into the field over the next few years.